So you might remember this Alberta NDP MLA, Rod Loyola. He's a communist, literally, who supports the late Hugo Chavez. Long live Hugo Chavez. Long live the values that he stood for. Compañero Presidente Hugo Chavez. He has called for royalty rates to be jacked up on the Alberta oil patch as much as triple what they are now. Absolutely essential is making sure that oil royalties are a lot higher than what they actually are right now. And I would even say that we need to get them up to at least 30, 35 percent. And just to show you the kind of quality MLA that Rachel Notley commands, listen to him try to rap about being a gangster with a gun against capitalism. Here, let me show you a glorious full minute of Rock Loyal rapping. Take a look. About to hit the mic quiet, subversively, coming at you with ingenuity, breaking down indoctrination of capitalist commodification that's taking over your mind. Attacking you all the time through daily media blips like drive-by hits, the clip just hit the ground. We've been broken and bound, tied up behind enemy lines. Incarcerated and confined. To break free, we need to have an urban guerrilla mentality. Observe your enemy, analyze strength and weaknesses. Use the, use the same ammunition. Oh man, I forgot my lines. So that's the kind of thoughtful judgment that is guiding Alberta's oil and gas policies through this recession and period of low commodity prices. Are you surprised that oil companies are on strike? a capital strike, I mean, cancelling or postponing or reducing the amount of money they put into Alberta because of political risk? I mean, if you had a billion dollars to invest in oil and gas somewhere in the world, would you put it in a province governed by such clowns? Or would you maybe invest in Texas or North Dakota, where lower cost jurisdictions, you know, to begin with, but <laughs> they don't have Hugo Chavez crazies in their governments anyways. Okay, this guy, Rod Loyola, this champion of the working man, Finally, he thought he'd venture out and meet real oil and gas workers. Literally, not a single Alberta New Democrat MLA has had anything to do with the oil and gas industry except protesting against it. Even the energy minister herself has never, ever dealt with oil and gas before. How is that even statistically possible? For 54 people to be elected New Democrat MLAs and none of them to have ever worked in oil and gas in Alberta. That would be like a Newfoundland election where 50 people were elected who had never been in a boat or Windsor electing 50 people who had never been in a, you know, car factory, but plenty of those who had protested against those. How's that even possible? Anyways, Loyola thought he'd go and find out what life is like for the proletariat on the rigs. Except the problem is there aren't a lot of working oil rigs in Alberta these days. There are 529 drilling rigs in Alberta, which is amazing since each drilling rig represents about 135 jobs both directly on the rig and then to support it, everything from food to accommodation. So that's what, 60, 70,000 jobs just on these rigs. Except that, here's the problem, only 25% of these rigs are active. Just 132 out of 529 of them, according to the Canadian Association of Oil Well Drilling Contractors, it's a, it's a disaster. 75% of the rigs are down. Low prices wounded the industry. And then the NDP finished it off, brought in its revenge taxes. So yeah, it's a recession. But our Hugo Chavez fan club man wanted to meet real blue collar men. For a communist, you'd think he'd know a lot of them, but he's actually an academic type of communist. He was a union leader, not for a trade union, but at the University of Alberta, some, some trade unionist he is. Anyways, so Rod Loyola went out to see what the real world was like. I mean, you heard how he loves OPEC oil and hates Alberta oil already. So when he went out to see how the enemy looks up close. And here's his excited tweet about how that went. Take a good hard look at these pictures. He said, I have a whole new appreciation for workers on an oil drill now that I have been out to Leduc Number 1 Discovery Center. An oil drill, that's what he calls it. He's not down pat with the lingo yet. I guess he really did it, eh? He really met real oil and gas workers and he really got to know what they're like and he really sympathizes with real working men he finally has a respect for them except for look, for look at that picture again he didn't go to one of the hundred or so few drilling rigs actually working in the province Leduc number one that refers to the oil rig that really set off the oil rush back in 1947 here's an old black and white picture of it today Leduc number one is a museum 
like some heritage park where they have old stagecoaches and steam engines just for the kids to enjoy. Hey, Comrade Loyola, that's a museum. They're pretending to be oil rig workers, oil drill workers. That's not a real drilling rig. It's funny, isn't it? Except he's a government MLA for the next 40 years. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.